this plenary BEPS session, we discuss the uh, main implications of this huge tax initiative, which is overhauling the international tax system. Industry leaders, tax and representatives, intertwine their visions, their insight, on how is this going to affect our businesses and how it is going to affect the world forward and the application of taxes. BEPS is a major initiative, as you all know. We won't run into the details at this point, but uh, BEPS is really a major overhaul of the international tax system as we know it. But BEPS is at the same time a work in progress. So we're all watching out for BEPS. We're all trying to understand BEPS, where BEPS is heading to, and where it will end up. Uh, the current international tax system took more than 50 years to build. There is a consensus on such things as whether the source state or the resident state should be taxing. And BEPS is introducing subjective elements into that. So we need to be prepared for BEPS. This is an example of a digital business model in the information sector. It may be publishing, it may be scientific, it may be business information. Where on the left hand side of the slide, we have people supplying information free of charge. In the middle of the slide, we have uh, people in various countries within the organization processing the data, publishing, editing the data, uh, some people outside the company reviewing the data. And on the right-hand side of this slide, we have the, the customer, um, perhaps people remote from the main customer location uh, using the data. So thinking about this business model, which I've described very briefly, um, how does BEPS touch on this business model? Well, first of all, it's clear from the, the transfer pricing, pricing side of things that we continue to be taxed on our profits where the people functions are based, where the editor is editing, where the publisher is publishing. But secondly, uh, we look at this, uh, re the reports on the digital economy, and here we learn that we have such a thing as a digital presence, which means that the profits will be taxed where the customers are downloading the articles or using the search services, and for us, that means in 200 countries in the world, we have a digital presence or a digital permanent establishment. So the profits will be taxed there as well. Uh, and then we turn to the report on Action 7, on permanent establishments. And we find that the collection of information is now capable of being a permanent establishment, no longer necessarily preparatory and auxiliary. So we'll also be taxed where the information is being collected. Um, and then we read... The, the, the chapter on cost sharing, which we maybe come to later. And we've, now, I'm, I'm sure that in time, the tax authorities will work all this out among themselves. But in the meantime, uh, the report that we need more than any other is this, uh, the report on uh, making dispute resolution more effective. Consensus amongst uh, the client base that I work with around BEPS and the digital initiative is that that's one part of the BEPS program that the Americas believes will, will have some real legs to it. First question is, is whether BEPS will stop us to do hybrids. Uh, probably not. I mean, uh, otherwise it would have done a report of two pages saying that's, that's the end and that's not what they said. Uh, the second thing is that uh, clearly the hybrids that we are discussing now are slightly different from the one we were discussing before. And it's clear that in terms of disclosure, that's OK. Everything would be on the table, which is a given. Uh, it's also in terms of political impact. It's really a, a question that with high political impact, for sure. Uh, the substance will be clearly important. And it's clear that only hybrids based on a difference in tax law and very strict difference in tax law will work. What is important, I think, is that what we have probably accepted to factor in is the, the tax benefit, if any, deriving from the hybrid will be reduced. Uh, there's a huge issue about whether all these BEPS rules are, in fact, ammunition for states who are going to pick from many whatever they're interested in. And your country is a brick. Asia is in itself a brick. How is this going to apply? What it's interesting that the BRICS nations have taken two principles which are preamble to the OECD BEPS project very, very seriously. First principle. Fairness of international tax systems to secure the tax base. And two, taxability determined on economic activities. 
Now, these two are the only principles that apply very well to emerging economies. May I ask Paolo to bring in the European perspective? I think that debt is not something that is going to happen, it's something that has happened now. Because there are three issues that uh, we need to cover. Uh, one is uh, review the, your business operations. They, we're, we're too late if we haven't done that. Second, transfer pricing. Third, enhance the tax function. Incorporate board members who are really tax intelligent people. Recently, Pascal Sandemans was heading this effort at the OECD, said unilateral action will lead to chaos on BEPS. Mm -hmm.